Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Forza Horizon 4. The vehicle that I'm testing today is a 2011 BMW X5M. So it's a Class A 708 performance rating, all-wheel drive, engine sits in the front. Let's test it. Let's see what it does. I've always been a fan of an X5. I think it's a fantastic piece of machinery. It's it's incredible. I remember the first generation X5s, they were extraordinarily, like, amazing. The fact that you could drive them with two, two wheels off of the road and two wheels on the tarmac and it just stays straight, it's pretty crazy. Really cool. Alright, let's go. Back in the day, that was a big thing. Angry V8, it's got quite some launch. For such a massive vehicle, it's flying. I'm struggling a little bit with the gear ratios. Quick gearbox though. I mean, it feels like a car. It doesn't feel like an SUV. It's even though it's so big, it's it feels nimble. but you do feel the weight when you try and brake. Tire compound, I would say, is at fault there. And also, obviously, the weight. <laughs> it's handles, it's like it's on tarmac. It's pretty insane. So good. Struggles a little bit to turn on the dirt, but not too bad. I mean, you can see this thing is absolutely just eating it up. Weird gear ratios. Yeah, there we go. Back on the tarmac. Feels the same, basically. A little bit more responsive on the tarmac. See the interior. Hmm. Very nice. I like the visibility. Whoopsie. Loss of traction there. Good sound. Yeah. I think it's okay. Massive puller on the left, again, as with every other BMW. Um, or with many of them. Can't see what's on the right of the vehicle. And it's such a big vehicle, you really want to know what's around you. But yeah. It is what it is. Man, but you could just really throw it control it really well from the interior view. You don't really notice the weight that much. It's very good. I mean, you totally forget that this thing is basically a two-ton block, you know. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's amazing. It's got really good brakes. See on the dirt, they, they work well, but the tires, not great. There you go. <laughs> it's it it's great. I'm enjoying it. For a low tier class A, it did it two fifty seven point three. That's really good. That's like serious. <laughs> Wow. Alrighty, let's see what it does on the cross-country event. I'm expecting it to be good. But let's see. Let's find out. Comment below your thoughts. So, What do you think of this vehicle so far? It's quite unassuming, you don't expect it, you know, like in like the vast majority of all of the cars. You wouldn't think, oh yeah, let me take a BMW X5M on a dirt race. Or on cross country, it's not really the first thing that comes to mind, you know. But yo, look at this thing, it just... As soon as it gains momentum, it's so fast, and it still feels so nimble on the grass. 
looks amazing. With the stock tires and everything. Suspension is obviously geared for this kind of thing. It can obviously be better, but man, it's already a very good start. Look at that. You can really confidently just throw it, you know, full power, give it the beans. Obviously you need to slow down here a bit, just to combat its heavy weight. Weird ratios on the gears. Let's see. It's an absolute machine. Let's see what it does. Take it over this little edge there. It does struggle for grip still. It's because of those tires. It's a machine. Seriously. Wow. Let's see the exterior view. Still feels like a car. <laughs> Such a strong engine. It's so good. I totally recommend it that you try it out for yourself. A little bit too much there, but that's just the tires and the weight. Man, it's good. See the engine struggling to pull the weight up the hill. But I mean, <laughs> still does it really quickly. We're driving 200 off of the road. I mean, that's mental. Almost 200. Look at that, 200 kilometers per hour on <laughs> no road. Crazy. Super impressive. Alrighty, 313.6. For a low tiered Class A vehicle, I'd say that's pretty good. It's not super, super fast, but it is quick enough. So, yeah, very impressive. Let's try it on the drag strip. It's big. It's not a small vehicle, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's not humongous, you know, too much like the the X6. All right. Quick gearbox, it's lovely. Nice launch as well. Let's see if we can out pace, <laughs> the F pace. <laughs> Remember, this thing is not very aerodynamic, so I don't expect it to go like 300 kilometers per hour. It's doing very well. For a low tier class A SUV. And it feels so good. It's not like you, you don't feel like you're gonna fall over. It's quite fantastic. In first gear, amazing. Let's see how many gears it's got. Six. Alright. A 
there you have it. You might have a chance in the quarter mile, but I would upgrade it first a bit. Uh, it's a 108.5, so not bad for such a large vehicle. It's not great, like amazing for class A, but yeah, it's a good start. For such a large vehicle, remember, that's pretty impressive. Alrighty, final little test. Will it drift? I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. It's got a lot of grip. Mm, doesn't really want to. Feels a bit too heavy. There's a little something, but it's more like a slide. Try it in second gear. Ah, now it wants to grip. You can see it just sticks on the road. It's awesome. A little heavy. You see it struggles to break there. That makes sense. Yeah, it's got too much grip. Which isn't a problem if you're looking for a vehicle that handles well. But it's got potential. If you change the tires and you really like make the tire pressures very high, stiffen up the suspension, you can see it's just a little bit wobbly but not too bad. You might have a good drift SUV if that's your kind of thing alrighty cool there you have it guys this has been the BMW X5 M hope you enjoyed it like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to support the channel and comment your thoughts below on this vehicle what do you think of the M5 uh, the, sorry the X5 M yeah alrighty all the best and see you in the next one peace